What's up, y'all? It's Tuesday, and it is, um, look at those cool things in the background. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I have to get up really, really early. It's, it's, um, about five o'clock. I actually should get going quicker, um, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Uh, I have to get out early so I can get somewhere by seven, so I have to go to work. Um, no time for comics uh, right now, but uh, I just wanted to show you something. This is what it's like walking into my studio right now, which is this one half of my uh, Um, living room. I do keep my desk somewhat clean, but <laughs> the rest is a crazy mess. Um, so yeah, this is my typical lunch every day. A uh, couple of small bags of chips. Two of these Crustables. And a half a bag of baby carrots and as I pull Mr. Rogers and put my boots on <laughs> um, I'll just say you know doing this uh, comic stuff when you're busy and you have a lot going on it's a sacrifice um, and when you don't have time you gotta carve out time wherever you can find it. Right now I have even less time than I have in the past. And sometimes things get a little bit messy. There's other messes that I'm not showing you. <laughs> um, but I have to do a lot of things. So, um, you know, that's how things go. That's how it's been lately barely getting in my time but still getting in my time also oh, what I wanted to say about the lunch it's not the best lunch in the world um, it's probably not the healthiest I want to be healthy um, but it's the most convenient cheapest um, if I don't do that I'll be tempted especially being on the road I'll be too tempted to stop at McDonald's and these other places and it's not good for me and it's not good on the wallet so you know it's not the best but it's better than that you know so yeah <laughs> I was barely able to fit in a half an hour yesterday um, but this is what I did I did some um, concept art for Calamity Jane one of the characters, Frederick Half Gray. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I had to fit it in, you know, like everything else. Um, 
and even though times can definitely be hard, uh, when you've gone through a lot of tough stuff, I don't know, for me it's easier to look to see all the good things and, and just hold on to those things, you know? Um, obviously my faith is a big part of what I do, obviously making comics is very therapeutic, like working on all these projects, that's helpful, um, so, you know, I have plenty of good things in my life to be happy about and grateful for. Alright, so I am officially done with the work day, um, and I actually got out on somewhat close to time, which is earlier, that's the one thing of going in early is I get out early, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and so I just wanted to talk about this thing um, that I was thinking about. Um, there's different approaches to making comics. And um, I think it's really important for us to have some self-awareness to uh, learn about ourselves, you know, how we like to actually make comics and also what kind of resources we have to make comics. Um, I think that we need to all take inventory of what, you know, what we're at actually capable of. Um, you know, I was, uh, there's, um, a certain way of kind of going about it where it's like, you know, I have this big project in mind and I really want to take time to build up the world, you know, and, and to develop the characters and to, you know, just really get all the designs down and, um, you know, just really put the thing together. Um, and I think that's a great method. It's it's like kind of a method I'd like to do, um, but it's kind of also the exact opposite method of what I do. And, you know, I was hearing a, a buddy of mine who is kind of going through that kind of method. And, you know, it's really cool to hear. And I'm like listening to him and I'm like, yes, yes, go do it that way. Like, that's the way you should do it. Cause that's like exactly what you know you're good at and and you're just he's just i could tell in that kind of place where it's like it's time for him to do that kind of thing and at the same time i'm it's also confirming yes that's totally not the way i should go because <laughs> it's not it's not who i am at the moment you know and it's and i feel like you know i'm kind of in a mode where i i have to take a, a kind of a punk rock type of method where it's like take the resources of what you have, you know, whatever you already have and make the best you can out of what you have, um, as opposed to kind of spending a lot of time in development. And, um, I, I wish I had time, you know, to do the development stuff, but the place where I'm at is, as you can see in this video, I don't have a lot of time. Um, right now I'm sitting at a store. I just went and got some prescriptions and now I'm at a store picking up some stuff and then I got to go home and do some chores and cook some dinner and you know all the crazy stuff you know it's just it's hard to find time in the day um you know and um I think that it's just important to know who you are as an artist and like I've said before many ways can work and like I said I'm cheering my buddy on who's doing it kind of the more deliberate you know taking time to get things done and done right method but at the same time i know that that's not me right now and whatever way is the way you like to do double down on that or the way that is more uh um resonates with you more double down on that make it happen let's get this thing going you know what i mean Top.